Hi and welcome to Histograms Drawing. Just before we start, a quick reminder that there is a note, uh, note shot reveal for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so uh, we've been told that Cherry records the time taken T minutes to travel to school for a sample of 160 students at her academy. And in the table we can see that the time taken is between 0 and 10 minutes, between 10 and 20 minutes, 20 and 40 minutes, and 40 and 80 minutes. And we've been asked to draw a histogram to represent this information. Now the first thing we have to uh, just note here is that a histogram is like a bar chart but it is used for continuous data and grouped data. So in this case you will see that one group ends at 10 and the next instantly begins at 10. One ends at 12 and the next begins at 20. One ends at 40, the next one begins at 40. And so what this means is each group is, um, is running straight into the next group. Now, also with this, with a bar chart, usually our y-axis would be frequency. It would use the height to show how many people are involved. But that is not the case with a histogram. With a histogram, we actually use area. And so what we end up with is a bar, and the area is what shows us the frequency. And so it is the inside, which is the frequency, the width of the bar well that is the width of the group so in our first case um, a group of 0 to 10 well that would be a width of 10 um, so how do we get the height well the height is known as frequency density and frequency density is a calculation that we need to perform because if we know the area of the bar which we do because we've been given the frequency and we know how wide the bar is from the width of the group well the frequency density that is going to be frequency divided by group width and that will give us the frequency density and so that is the formula we're going to need to use in order to draw a histogram so what we're actually going to need to do here is to extend this table. We're going to need to extend the table so that we can have the two columns that we actually need, the group width and the frequency density. And so in the first group, it is from 0 to 10, and so the group width is 10. The second group is 10 to 20, so that is also a width of 10. The next is 20 to 40, so we have different sized groups as well. That is important within a histogram, and so we end up with a width of 20. And the last one is 40 to 80, so that is a width of 40. Now, the frequency density, as we've said here, is frequency divided by group width. And so what we're going to do is we're going to divide those two numbers. So 54 divided by 10 would be 5.4. 50 divided by 10 would be 5. 44 divided by 20, well, that would be 2.2. And 20 divided by 40, well, that is 0 0.5. Now, we need to plot these onto our graph. Now, the main thing here, we'll notice that the frequency density um, axis on the graph doesn't actually have any information written on it. And that is because we need to decide how high this graph goes. And the key here is that the largest frequency density that we have is 5.4. So just having a look, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sections here. So the idea here would probably be that we're going to use 0 0.5 as each set of five lines. So 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6. And there we managed to reach the height that we required, which was 5.4. Now, in order to draw the actual histogram, we need to start drawing bars. And so the first group is from 0 to 10, and so our width should go from 0 to 10, but it has a height of 5.4. So we're just going to draw up to 5.4 and across to 10. 
That is the first bar of our histogram. The next bar begins immediately at 10 and goes to 20. So the same thing again, we're going to start at 10, but this time we have a frequency density of five. So we're gonna go up to five and draw along to 20. The next one is 20 to 40. So again, begins immediately at 20, but this time it's gonna go all the way across to 40. And this time it has a um, frequency density of 2.2. And so we just need to go up to 2.2, but along to 40. And then our last group goes all the way from 40 to 80, but only has a frequency density of 0 0.5. Now what we have is a fully completed histogram. We should also have here a FD to tell us the frequency density is the scale across the top. But what we can see now is if we want to compare the different groups together, it is all about um, looking at the area of the bar. And so the bigger the bar in total coverage of the graph, the higher the frequency. So next, what we've been given is a fully completed histogram, um, but we need to create the frequency diagram, uh, sorry, the frequency table. So it tells us that the histogram shows information about the times taken by some students to finish a puzzle. Complete the frequency table for this information. Now, the first one has been given uh, for us already. So the zero to five group apparently has a frequency of four. Well, how has that been calculated? Well, again, frequency is the area of the bar. And so what we've got is a width of five and a height of 0 0.8. So five times 0 0.8 is four. So we're gonna do the same with the rest of the groups. Now this next bar has a width of 10 because it is from five to 15 and it has a height of 0 0.4. And so that is going to be 10 times 0 0.4, giving us another frequency of four. The next group also has a width of 10. Its height is 0 0.6, and so 10 times 0 0.6 is six. The next group is only a width of five, and that one has a height of one, and so five times one is five. And finally, our last group is from 30 to 50, so that is 20 as a width. And we're gonna multiply it by its height, which is 0 0.2. 20 times 0 0.2 is 4. And so all we've done in order to calculate the frequency from the histogram is to multiply the width by the height or the width by the frequency density. Now we're going to end with the exam question. And this came from the Edexcel paper in November 2017 and it was higher paper 2. And the table gives information about the heights of 150 students. On the grid, draw a histogram for this information. So once again, all we've been given here is the uh, actual groups and their frequencies. And so we do need to add in the extra information. We're gonna need a couple of extra columns in order to do our calculations. And we're going to need the width and we're going to need the frequency density. And so the width of the first group, it's from 140 to 150. And so that is a width of 10. The next one is 150 to 155, so that is a width of 5. Then 155 to 160, a width of 5. 160 to 165, a width of 5. And 165 to 180 is 15. Now again, to get the frequency density, well that is going to be our frequency divided by the width. And in this case, um, we have 15 divided by 10, that is 1.5. We have 30 divided by five, that is six. We have 51 divided by five, um, and so that is 10.2. We have 36 divided by five, that is 7.2. And we have 18 divided by 15, which is um, 1.2. Now each of those you could just uh, type into a calculator to work out as this is paper two, we're allowed to do that. Um, but what we now need to decide is looking at the grid, um, we don't actually have any information whatsoever written on here. And so we need to decide how we are going to set this out. And so first of all, let's have a look at the heights. 
So the height is what is going to be along the bottom of our, uh, of our graph. And it begins at 140. Now, given that nobody was below 140, we don't need to start at zero. 140 is absolutely fine. But then moving up, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces available. So if we take this as 10 at a time, if I go to 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, well that is going to cover everything that we have in our grid from 140 to 180. So we have our heights and we just place that as centimetres. And then in terms of the frequency density, the highest we need to get to is 10.2. So we just need to check how many spaces we've got. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And so as there are 12, that is suggesting that we probably want to start at 0 and just go up by 1 each time. And now we can definitely get all the way up to 10.2 when we draw our bars. And so then come the bars. We are going to uh, draw each of them. So the first one from 140 to 150 has a frequency density of 1.5. And so from 140 to 150 with a frequency density of 1.5, we're going to have to go halfway through a square this time. Um, that's absolutely fine. Next, from 150 to 155, well, that is a height of 6. And so we begin straight away at 6, but this one is only one square wide. Then um, 155 to 160, well, that is the value of 10.2. So that would be 10 and one little square. And we keep going from 160 to 165, um, that is 7.2. So 7 with one little square above it. And then from 165 all the way to 180, which is three squares across, that has a height of 1.2. And we have created our histogram showing all of that information. Just to finish, we should just add on this uh, y-axis, we should add that we've use this as the frequency density. If you use the letters FD, that is sufficient to know it is frequency density.